That was it, dude. That was over. This is the shortest fucking crime of all time. We want to defund the police is for content's sake. Yes. Let my man retry. What is this? South Korea is a cyberpunk dystopia. Time, I kinda wanna I've always found it odd how the cyberpunk genre seemed to have a strange obsession with Japan. All across these movies, you'll find Japanese text, culture, and characters. But this actually yeah, because it's sense. cool as fuck. These movies date back to the 1980s, a time period where the rise and growth of Japan was crazy. Japan was undergoing an economic miracle. In a 40 year time span, Japan had gone from a small agricultural country to becoming the world's third largest economy. Japan was beating the US in tech, cars, and even video games. Japan's eventual suppressment of the US seemed inevitable. But of course, as we know, this didn't happen. The Japanese bubble burst and Japan stagnated. And yet, you still continue to see Japanese influence in cyberpunk. But there's a country which I think fits the cyberpunk motif even better, Korea. It's always been a staple of cyberpunk media to feature massive domineering corporations. Blade Runner has the Tyrell Corporation, Ready Player One has IOI, and Korea has Samsung. It's hard to overstate the impact that Samsung has on Korean society. Many think of Samsung Chable. as simply a technology company, but it is actually an incredibly diverse mega corporation. The Samsung Group has over 80 subsidiaries, the largest being Samsung Electronics, which makes everything you think of when you imagine Samsung. But there are of course a number of others, such as Samsung SDI, which is an energy company, Samsung SDS, which offers IT and consulting services, Samsung CNT, which is a construction company, Samsung Sports, which owns a variety of sports teams. Samsung Fire and Marine Insurance, which, you guessed it, offers fire and marine insurance. Samsung Heavy Industries, which is the world's second largest shipbuilder. And Samsung Life Insurance, which is not shady whatsoever. These subsidiaries of the Samsung Group make up roughly 20% of the Korean economy, which is absolutely absurd. This level of dominance over the country lacks any real comparison. It should come as no surprise that Samsung is also Korea's largest employer, Employing 100 Bro, this song makes me go fucking hard for Samsung. Like, right now, I'm like, fuck yeah. Pop off, Samsung. I keep killing it, dude. It's like, if the intention is to make Samsung look bad, I have already caved. That's how easily manipulated I am by sounds, okay? Like, I, I'm literally like, yeah, Che Balls, let's fucking go. I love this Monopoly. Thousand people across the country. Even the United States' largest employer, Walmart, makes up only 2.5% of the economy. Yeah, fuck you, Walmart! The level of control Fucking bitch-ass Walmart, Korea dude! Samsung's insane. killing it! Just looking at it at a cultural level, if you were to ask a Korean primary schooler what they wanted to do when they grew up, more often than not, they'd say work at Samsung. Kids in Korea have it drilled into their brains that getting a job at Samsung is their key to a better and more prestigious life. This isn't an easy task, however. Children, even from an incredibly early age, know that if they want to work at Samsung, they'll have to do it very well in school and get into a prestigious university. Korean society places an incredible significance on education. School days are 11 hours of lecture-based instruction in a what variety of the subjects. Wait, w 11? No, what? 11? Yo, no wonder it's the fucking most, like, the highest rate of suicide out of any fucking country on the planet, dog. What the fuck? I feel like we watched a video about Korea and Samsung at some point. Yes. What he's saying about Che Balls, what he's saying about Samsung, what he's saying about, like, uh, like children dedicating their entire lives to, like, learning and, and uh, getting into these, like, entry exams so they can, like be a part of the Samsung family is true. Korea highest suicide, not Japan. Yes, bro. America's suicide rate, I think, is like comparable, if not higher than Japan now. Japan fell off on suicides, I'm gonna be honest. But yeah, uh, the, the Korean rate of suicide is like one of the highest, it, the highest in the OECD nations, for sure. And I think possibly the highest on the planet maybe i don't know anyway let's and starting in middle school more than 95 percent of students will begin to attend privately owned for-profit cram schools after they finish their regular school day overall 
Students may spend as much as 16 hours studying in a- I, We did this too- What? 16 hours? Shut the fuck up. That's crazy. We did do the Darsane, which I think is like now illegal in Turkey. That's what people were saying. But like we did this as well for- for Bro, the further you- The more you leave the West, the further you go East- the more aggressive schooling becomes and the more emphasis placed on schooling in general. Okay. Like, I mean, we did the, we did a lot of this shit too. Like Darsana is like cram schools in Turkey. We did this as well. We had like testing, uh, in eighth grade to get into placement tests for high school, uh, which straight up dictate what your, like what your career is going to be from like sixth grade. You know what I mean? Or, uh, another one in, uh, in, uh, at the end of high school for college. A day only coming home to Is it less efficient than the West? Is it actually a little rest up? No, they're definitely, what? <laughs> no, I mean, no, it's not that they're less efficient. They're, they are learning a lot. Bro, we were doing Calc 2 in fucking high school. Like, that was common core curriculum for Turkey, not like AP or anything like that. Sleep. There's a common saying in Korea that if you sleep three hours each night, you may get into a top university. If you sleep four hours each night, you may get into another university. But if you sleep five hours or more each night, especially during your last year of high school, forget about getting into any university. Even more so than other countries, getting into a top university in Korea is a big deal. And the only way to do that is by scoring highly on the Suning or CSAT exam. The Suning exam is a nine hour long all encompassing exam and is offered only once a year. During these nine hours, the country holds its breath. Teachers wear trainers to muffle their footsteps as they pace their classrooms. Roads around schools are shut down to prevent traffic for students arriving at test sites. Even planes are grounded all across the country. So the sound of them taking off is not a distraction to students. The pressure is immense. Stu okay, now I'm sucked in to the fucking, uh, the, the psychotic education system too. I'm like, yeah! Cyberpunk music making me feel some type of way about 12 hours of schooling. I'm like, yeah! yeah! Let the kids fucking learn! Ugh! Fuck those airplanes! Students study Korean, English, mathematics, and history, knowing that if they aren't happy with their result, they'll have to endure another year of grueling studying just to try again. For those who did poorly, well, they'll make up the 20% of students who will take it in a year. Some may even take it up to five times. And for those who did well, their parents may reward them with plastic surgery. After all, a more attractive face will give them a leg up in the job market. This may seem insane for people in the West, but yes, this is true, and it's almost what? a cliche at this point. Of course, there are others who may never be able to find success with Suning, and will be forced to look for a different path. Some may abandon their dreams and work in manufacturing, while others may try to become professional gamers. Okay, I I I knew that like Korea had a huge fucking plastic culture, uh, plastic surgery culture. I didn't know it was like that. What the fuck? This is making me realize what Koreans have such a bad gaming culture, and they're in that they're addicts. Lol. I didn't know they were doing it to fucking high schoolers to like have better have uh you know better job opportunities that's insane dude what the fuck spending all their free time practicing an internet cat doesn't help that you put a picture of yourself on job applications phase some may even try to become k-pop idols but even in the entertainment industry there still exists this extreme work culture when someone auditions to become a k-pop idol they sign what's called a slave contract where they agree to let a management company control every facet of their lives for years. It often takes years of incredibly intense training for a K-pop group to debut. And in that time, trainees are constantly- Dude, I'm standing, I'm standing. Holy fuck, this music is making me think everything is in, in Korea is so cool. Monitored, having to follow an extremely strict diet and are not allowed to be in a relationship. Trainees live together in dorms so they can be better- Slave contracts! And aren't even allowed to leave <laughs> Let's go. permission. At any point, even after years of intense training, the management company could drop the trainee with no financial compensation. This extreme work culture, which propelled Korea onto the world stage as a major economy. Yeah, that's why you look at fucking, on the one hand, Blackpink, okay? Blackpink in your fucking area. And then you look at Berichan here in Burbank, 
Okay, and there's a massive gap there. Okay, I'm I'm gonna say it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Barry Chan is not clearing Blackpink, okay? Stan Luna right now. I'm standing. I'm standing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Is it am I doing it right? Stand twice. Stand twice. Economy is also slowly destroying it. Extreme overworking has caused a mental health epidemic, giving South Korea the highest suicide rate of any developed country in the world. Since the 1980s, Korean population growth has fallen below replacement levels. As of 2020, the Korean fertility rate was at 0.84 births per women, which not only puts them far below replacement level, but also is the lowest in the world. The population of Korea is already in decline and will continue to fuck far yeah into the future. This is <laughs> Bro, this music is so confusing. I'm sorry. It's like, yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah. Their population is declining, dude. Holy shit! Number one in suicides. Let's go. <laughs> it's only exacerbated by the country's compulsory military conscription, which forces all men in the country to serve in the army for at least two years. Well, all men in theory, at least. Of course, like any other country. Korea has exceptions to its conscription, and those who are unfit to serve, don't. And who decides who is fit to serve? Military brokers. In August of 2022, after serving 18 months in jail, Samsung Vice Chairman Lee Jae-yong was officially pardoned for his heavy- Wait. Uh, as I grew up as an Indian expat in Korea as a kid, and I will say Korea is an extremely strange place to live in, culturally conservative and homogenous nation, which is obsessed with capitalism and development. Uh, hello? No. It's the most, that is the most obvious thing, dude. What do you mean? That's, what do you think happens to countries that America has literally designed, okay? America built every fucking, every aspect of it straight up. Yeah. No, that's what, that's what you get. Like, you get a lot of prosperity. You get a lot of fucking development. You get a lot of money. But also, that's what you get. You can say, you can say, uh, you know, Hassan. Oh, typical Hassan getting mad at America again. But, like, it's literally the fucking truth. You know what I mean? South Korea is just KUSA. I mean, they literally, their agencies are like KCIA. You know what I mean? It's not like, that's not, their pop is K-pop. Their, their CIA is KCIA. They are KUSA in many ways. You can almost say the same.